Now there are professional hazards to your job. Yeah, I see you, you've got a sweatband. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. It's like a permanent white bracelet. <laughs> Hey! Hey, go! It's nice to see you again. Thank you, you too. I want to start by saying thank you. Why is that? Are you representing the 30 year olds out there and showing <laughs> everyone that we've still got it? Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, as soon as you're 30, you're like about to retire. <laughs> <laughs> Every year, it's when you're retiring. But yeah, like you pr I guess you can prove to yourself that you've still got it in different ways and if I didn't think that I could still compete with the best players in the world then I'd struggle to do it. Is there something in the last few years you've noticed and you've gone actually I'm now better at? Overall I probably I'm better with my footwork now and right. just this year I've worked on my serve more even though it's still a shot that has always been my weapon you can't sit back and rely on it never work and think that it's still going to be there when yeah. it really matters. Oh, I've, got a little, I've got a little test for you. Open the glove <laughs> compartment. Take those two bats out. Yeah. We're going to do a little bit of true and false. You won the 2011 US Open, defeating Serena Williams after That's being the true. 10th seed. Uh, no, false. I was the 10th seed. Ah, already. 17? I think you were the 9th seed. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Your best winning percentage in Grand Slams is at the US Open. False. What do you I think, think it it's is? at the French. It is the French. Well done. What is it about? What is it about the clay? Just naturally, kind of suits my game, and um, I quite like sliding into balls, and you have a bit longer rallies, and it gives me a chance to really set up points and do what I want to do. All right. If Sam Stozer wasn't a professional tennis player, yeah. she'd be a chef. Oh, I don't think I've ever said that, but that could be true because I love food yeah, and I true. love cooking. I mean, we go to some pretty cool cities with some pretty awesome restaurants all around the world. I kind of figure if you've got to go out at least 300 nights a year for dinner, you might as well make it good. Now, there are professional hazards to your job. Yeah, I see you, you've got a sweatband. Oh, tattoo. yeah. <laughs> Look at that. It's like a permanent white bracelet. <laughs> Is that really, you always a sweatband person? Yeah, you? especially in hot weather, you just get used to doing it now. It just feels weird if you don't wear it. Yeah. Even if you don't really use it or need it. Is it the same yeah. with glasses? Because you, you tend to wear the sunnies. Yeah. yeah, I just started wearing those when I was 14. Great to see you, good luck. Thanks very much. We're on your side.